Hi there. I want to welcome you to my kitchen. Today we're going to have taverns and taters. This is a really, really old recipe that my granny used to make for us. And my granddaddy was not a fan of hamburger. He really didn't care for hamburger. But you could take that same hamburger, put some of granny's gravy on it, and put some mashed potatoes in a biscuit, and he was all over it. But hamburgers, not so much. But taverns, he would eat. It's an open, it generally served open faced, you know, but Randy kind of likes closed sandwiches more so than open faced, so I closed his up. Most of the time I eat mine open faced because it's a good memory. And then the taters are, we're just gonna pan fry some potatoes in some butter and oil, salt and pepper, and call them good. 20 minutes, dinner's gonna be done. Okay, as far as your taverns go, all you really need is some kind of onion soup mix or a can of onion soup, some rolls to put it on, some hamburger, a little bit of mustard, salt and pepper, and the original recipe does not call for mushrooms, but Randy and I like mushrooms in ours, so I use the mushroom. That's it. That's it for tavern so we can get started. We're just gonna go over here to the stove, get it lit up, get my pan hot, and I'm on a roll. Clock is ticking. 20 minutes and dinner will be done. Go medium heat. Don't get too crazy. I got that a little high. All right, medium heat. Then let that get um, hot. This pan, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on too so that everything's ready at the same time. So I'm gonna set this one. This one's gonna be on medium low heat because I don't wanna burn my potatoes. So we're gonna, whoop, me and low, about like that. You get. Now I forgot to tell you olive oil, but you don't have to have it. It's not an, a, a, you know, if you don't have it, you don't have it. I put about a teaspoon and a half of olive oil in there so that my butter doesn't burn. Just a little hack that I do. And I'm gonna put about fourth of a stick of butter in there and let that melt so I can start my potatoes at the same time. Ow, ow, ow. Pan's hot. I have one pound of hamburger. I'm just gonna Drop that hamburger, right? Sizzle. Pan was hot enough. Just gonna get that broke up in there. Gonna add me a little salt and pepper, just to taste. That's up to you. Little bit of salt, little bit of pepper. And just get that burger, get that burger browned up. Now my oil and butter is hot. I'm gonna give it a good circle so that I don't stick to the sides. And I'm gonna do this right over the pan. I'm just gonna make little flat slices, I guess. That's what you call it, slices. I'm slicing my potato.
Gonna add a little salt. Add a little pepper. A lot of pepper, actually. I like, we like a lot of pepper. All right. But that's a choice, and you do whatever is good for you and your family. And, all right, while I was cooking this, Randy says, you're not going to put garlic in there? Okay, well, we'll put us some garlic on those potatoes. It's not like I don't like garlic. We'll put a lot. Make him happy. We'll okay. Stir this up, and this is almost done now. So I'm going to go ahead and add those mushrooms. And I'm going to add juice and all. Just going to dump the can, oops, <laughs> right in there. And I'm going to take three tablespoons, which is the equivalent of a can. A, a can is the equivalent of one of those little packets. So one, two, three. drop my lid and then the original recipe is for a can of onion soup and that's about what 10 10 and a half ounces and then add a can of water so pretty much a pint of water will be good we'll just put that in there Give that a good stir. And then we're just gonna leave it alone for a little bit. Let's go back to these potatoes. And I need a flat, flat spurtle. Cause I need to flip. Flip my potatoes. Get that seasoning down on all of them. All right. There we are. Set that aside. We're gonna get a lid and I'm gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna turn it down to low. Well, I'm going to turn it down to low now. And then I'm going to put a lid on it. As soon as I find the lid. Oh, there it is. And just let that simmer away in that soup. Okay, I'm going to give my potatoes a little stir. Just to move them around, just so they're not sticking. And I'm going to go ahead and stick a lid on them too because they'll cook faster under that steam. So it's not like a tight fitting lid. I just got it over that to catch some of that steam. This one I'm going to turn up just a little bit because it was just laying there flat. And I want it to kind of bubble a little bit. And I want it done the same time as my potatoes because I'm hungry and we're ready to eat. And I promised you 20 minutes so we're going to get it done. The lid back on, let it keep hey. simmering. Just gonna give it a good stir, make sure I'm not sticking. I do that probably every five, seven minutes or so. All right. Now it's time to put some mustard in there. I'm gonna put about uh, probably a tablespoon. Not much. Just a tablespoon. We're going to give that a good stir. Oh, you can smell that mustard. <laughs> Just that little bit of mustard makes such a difference. Now I have one tablespoon of cornstarch with just a little bit of water 
And I'm going to pour that in there. And what that's going to do is thicken it up. And give that a good stir. Going to put the lid back on it. And then just let it thicken up. Voila! All right, we're only about five minutes out now. So I'm going to cut this bread and get it in the toaster oven. Open face anyway, so we're just going to drop them in the oven and let them get brown. We're going to use the toaster part. Just get them brown. <laughs> All right, my potatoes are nice and brown now. And soft. With just a little, a few of them with a little crunchiness to them. Just like we like them. And they smell, that garlic, that was a good idea to put the garlic in there. They smell wonderful all right this is ready and we are just waiting on the bread <laughs> my toast is ready ow, ow burnt myself and we're gonna set those out because these are open face sandwiches and we're gonna turn that off now ding i need to turn that back on okay and we're just gonna scoop that goodness gravy and all Put on that bun and let all that juice soak down into that bread. Just like that. And we're gonna get us some of those good potatoes. Good dishes do not need a ton of ingredients. You just need to know what goes with what, and then it just, it just all comes together. You know, there was only five ingredients in the sandwich, and there's only three ingredients, you know, salt, well, four, okay? The potatoes, salt, pepper, and garlic. You know, but they're wonderful. They don't cost a whole lot of money. They, they, you know, your family is full when they leave the table. It's just all around good. Goodness. Now for the taste test. Now you don't have a microphone, you can't say that. Now for the taste test. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it off of that spinner. Okay. <laughs> Make it a whole lot easier. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited about this one here, guys. You know, we did a video quite some time ago, and it was on the garlic potatoes. We cook it on the stove, drowned in butter, you know, cut in half and upside, and, you know, face down, right? Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, season them with salt and garlic, and so you really have salt, garlic, and butter. Mm -hmm. But what she did with these is she sliced them up, and she did the same thing. Basically. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, when she said she was going to slice them up, put them in the pan with salt and butter, I said, man, I said, you need to throw some garlic on there. <laughs> he did. And so she did. And guess what? They're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is, this is really good, Tammy. This is very good. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, but usually food looks real good when you ain't had nothing all day and you're starving to death. I have him on a 24-hour fast, y'all. Yeah, I'm trying. He's I mean, trying. I don't know if you can tell, but, you know, I mean. It's getting better. It's getting better. Not a whole lot better, but it's getting a little better. At least I'm getting cleaned out, right? <laughs> That's not cleaning out, but he... He is, he is on a 24-hour flight. I'm running, I'm running on low. He's running on empty is what mm. he's running on. <laughs> okay. 
Bye. See you in the next video.